Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tully family. And uh, things are things are going nicely now. That we've got the uh, marriage with the Cod family. Hopefully, we can try and bring them in underneath us in the future and annex them peacefully because we need a lot more prestige to take these guys out. Your Grace, I write with you shocking news. Discover the expose them immediately. How dare he do such things? No one kills people in my lands. All my children are married off. But what is this? What? My son was killed in a tawny. Christopher, you, you went off on your adventures, you came back. Turns out this is the most dangerous place. He was killed in a joust by Carl Piper. Are you kidding me, Carl Piper? Really? A small private funeral. And, well, I, I just went through all that bother finding you a wife, and uh, this is how you repay me. Liberation of the Clawmen. Gwen Tremor. With 5,000 men, that's a good decent amount of men, but Dragon King Matari's has got his dragons. He could take care of that. She still doesn't have a dragon. She has no dragon egg. Her heir, though, does have a dragon egg. So the other sister, the genius daughter, obviously her mother played favourites and gave the genius daughter the dragon egg, it would seem. <laughs> that poor girl. Obvious favourites right there. But that's kind of sad about the Blue Fork. I really wanted us to be able to try and get you. But now that's not going to happen. And she's now betrothed to... Wait, her father? What? You're marrying your own father? Okay, I did not know Cods were related to Targaryens. Who would have known? Crabshaw declared a claim on Wickenden. So, oh. The Waxley family want to take back Wickenden from the Templetons now that they've fallen so hard. Lord Edmund of Highgun has declared Lord Edmund's second claim on Middlebury. So, the gardeners, because they have a lot of men from their castle, they're still m planning to take on the king, King Hector of the Mandevale, to take some land. Which one's Middlebury? This one. I would not like that, because it would separate the land a little bit, but, yeah. News from Dragonstone. Princess Camilla, the... Genius Targaryen daughter of Visenya has hatched the dragon and it's called Rios and it is fertile. Good, f another dragon. Another dragon. The Black Axe. Rumors of fire and blood. Layla rides Vega. So, this random girl, daughter of a random man, has tamed Vega. Where is she? She's in Dragonstone. Okay, well, that's fun for her. Fun for her. Great. Maybe one day we can tame a dragon. A tully with a dragon. The fish that rides, they'll call it. The fish that rides a dragon. Declared war against the tyranny of Hector. So the Peaks are attacking the Fozaways. They have not liked their rule. Is it just them? No, and Appleton. So them and the Appletons are not particularly happy with the Mandeville. So that's not good. He's now facing two wars at the same time. Could this be the Fozaways decline already? They've only just risen up. They're now about to decline. Oh, Harrenhal. Did they win? Did they win? I think they lost. Yeah, so the Buckwells were able to push away... The Butterwells were able to actually get a piece there. Good for them. Last Earth just died. So that would be the Umber. The Umber one of the Umber Lords has just died. But the Butterwells were pushed back. That's the first kind of time they've lost, I think, if I remember correctly. So that, that's, a, that's a good thing. Stark just died as Stillborn. We should probably change our Stark. Uh, using a smuggled in rope, Emma Lollistone almost managed to escape from custody, but the guards caught her in time. Return her to the court. She's just a stupid girl. What? What's she going to do? She's no threat to our family. We're the Tullys. Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Ranstone lately. Your master of coin, Medgar Biggleson, suggests building new roads to help them. Uh, should I? I guess I'm a hard worker. Yeah, we need to make these lands great. Come on, let's do it. 
Storm's End is now pushing into Fellwood. That's good to see. Carhold's gone down here. You should be the important character. You should not be. He is now the lord of these lands. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on him. And the last tough expanded into there. Okay, Marlon Umber declared Carhold Wolfswood vassalize it. So they're going to go into the Wolfswood. So Carhold is very much separated around. It's, yeah, don't like it. <gasps> my brother! Is he okay? He's been wounded. Okay, this happened to you before, my brother. You, you know how to deal with this. You're fine. You're fine. Ooh, look at this. 35% in favor of the, the Liberation Revolt. Good job. Son, are you ever going to have a baby? I, I know you're both still young, but still. And the North already won that. Wow, that was quick. The plot where Arlen Rushmore seeks to rescue Perrin. Okay, we're fine with that. Still need more prestige. Yeah. How much prestige do we need? 250. Yeah, that was it. Just making sure. I thought it was 250. Just wanted to make sure. Declared sheep said hill that... What, is, he, is he doing two wars at the same time? No, he just won, didn't he? Then he declared the second one. Yeah. A small gathering of friends. Mr. Good. Of course I'll come. We'll come visit the goods. And the Durandons have now taken Fellwood. Almost connecting their lands. Almost connecting their lands. And she has one son. Devon Durandon, who's strong. Gods, he was strong. And they're married to a gardener. And how... Oh, no! She's been declared incapable. That lunatic girl. By Quentin. Who is this man? This lowborn. He's obviously ambitious. But that's not good for them. So, sadly, the second kind of Targaryen colony, not looking so great. The Did he take the bloody gate? Yeah, Runestone is now grown quite rapidly. Your Grace, news from Runestone. In a trial by combat, Roland Aaron was killed. Runestone Iron Oaks of Vassalization War. So he's now taking this. And he just took Darkmoor. That is expanding quite quickly. The Rufamont family, I don't think can stand against him. He's got 10,000 men. Huh. He's getting quite scary. I'm kind of glad my expanse now just slowed down. It does show obviously that the forced vassalization thing is not too overpowered because you need the prestige and stuff. So that's kind of nice to see. We did get a lot of prestige before. Let's get it started then, the party. Deep Den's expanded again. The Liddens aren't doing too bad. And the Gardeners took that land back. So they've now reconnected their lands. The Mandeville is separated and is still facing a civil war. And he's currently winning it, though. His son, Alchemine Fozaway, a strong lad. Strong apples. These days of reverie on excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations. Have we become fr Yeah, we became friends. Why oh, isn't that lovely? See? Oh, no. We're not friends. Oh, there we go. So our only friend we've ever made, Malwin Good. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Well, it was fun. What's this? Though? Hold a tawny. Uh, maybe we'll hold a tawny, I guess. I guess I could hold it. Rune Look at that. I like it. So it would seem. He's got her... Brandon Tully... What is wrong with, wrong with you, brother? How's your bastard son? Well, I guess he's not a bastard yet, but why do I think he was a bastard? Uh, Sir Ronald Tully. Maybe we could get you married. No, his daughter's... Nope, she's no longer betrothed to him, okay. Is he not with me? Is he with his father, yeah? Okay, he's with his father. Fine. Uh, Lucas Blackwood has been a leal and able servant. Um, many tasks. Should we give him a reward? Well, I don't know. Lucas Blackwood. He's married to my daughter. Let's give, her, let's give him a knighthood, yeah. Not a grant of land. I've only got two pieces of land. I think we should give him a knighthood. Congratulations, Lucas. I mean, he's a good fighter. He probably should be a knight anyway. My good name, B. 
Being improved has been a success. There we go. Do you want vassalization? No. Maybe we could convince them just to... No. Declared Arlen's claim on Maidenpool. So now he's going for Maidenpool this time. He's going to try and take that one. King Edmund, in honor of the great esteem that I hold, uh, them, I hereby grant the Night's Watch expanded territory, the gift. So the Umbers have given the Night's Watch the gift. Isn't that lovely, Umbers? What lovely... I commend the initiative. Yeah. Well, fine. I, I don't think we care either way. Um, Bracken's now taking Darry. There we go. That gives the uh, Night's Watch a bit more power. Who's on either side? We've got a Mandrake on that side. And on East Watch, we've got a Quag, who's a Cranigman, apparently. No Kingsby on the wall right now. And what is... You want me to help join in that war? Well, that's fine. I'm sure you're going to win anyway. And my son actually had a daughter. Scalera Tully. That is the first time. First child that he's had. I mean, she didn't get quick, which is a shame. And he needs kind of a son, but it's fine. White Harbour Torrin Square Vassalization War. I like the AI is actually being quite aggressive when they can be. Two people eloped and got married. I'm fine with that. I actually kind of like they're being quite aggressive. It's, it's nice. It's different. We don't always get to see the AI kind of make their own lands. Um, Old Oak has expanded up here, definitely. My good name being spread has been a success. Good to know. All the lords of the land will love me. Love me. We've got the High Lord of Lys. The Magister of Lys. Doing a good job. Oh, and the King of Tyrosh. Or, I guess, an Archon. Archon Grileo Rindoon has actually managed to make his own little kingdom here. Good for him. Or well, kingdom tier title. He got the High Lordship, finally. Maybe some more's actually start. Some things are starting to go down over here in Essos. Ooh, is that Saf? Yeah, Saf has got it as well. King Utamesh. He's managed to unite some of his people. Um, what's that? Some High Lords here around Carth. Torrens claim on Dragon Point. And so around Carth, there's a couple of people who've managed to make their own. Oh, the Jade Gate as well. A few more. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yin. Look at that. Yin. They're, doing, they're uniting Yi T very quickly. And you've also got actually over here Shin. He's also got Prince Sao. <gasps> it's Sao Tsao. No, it's not. It's Sao Vien. <laughs> I got a bit excited. I got. Bit, I got a bit excited there. I, thought, I saw the Tsao and I saw the Tsao and I was like, oh, Tsao Tsao? No, it's just the family name Sao and his name's actually Vien. Well, they got me. And we got this guy up here. Uh, Mao, Mao Tre. Has also kind of created his own little kingdom. Summer Islands. No kings down here yet. What about Ibn? They've not done it either. But yeah, everyone's grown quite quickly now. I want to see a king in the north. Look at Carhold now. Carhold is maybe becoming the main power in the north at the moment. Could the Starks unite the north like in real life? Look at that. Can they do it? Ronaford declared war on Edgerton. Still, no one's, no one's close to the power of the Tully family. And we can go to war again, but I'm going to leave it a bit for now because we want to obviously get more prestige and stuff. Don't want to use it up all now. I was hoping that wasn't going to be our, our granddaughter there. Alliance of High Point. Never been a shortage of soldiers. Um, Southstone looks pretty nice, actually. I do like the way it looks. Look at that. Nice little area. White Harbor's peace offer. So the Talarts are now underneath White Harbor. Yeah. I could see the White Harbor versus Carhold war coming. Mandalays versus Starks is what I feel like is going to be the future. And how is that revolution going? 31% in favor of the Liberators. He's got 5,000 men and of course his dragon. But look at his sister. She's been declared incapable. Will she get out of it? How is the Rebellion's army looking? 1,000 men. Okay, I think the Targaryen King should be able to handle that. Shouldn't take him too long. The employ of Lord Mega. Um, no, not for now. 
My brother is our Septon. I don't need another one. Declare Peasant Revolt. Sun Spears, just Sun Spear. I mean, you know, just what it has been. God's Grace, I think they expanded at one place. You'll Septon your own brothers, discover charging money for various religious favors, putting the gold in his own pocket. Intolerable! Would I stand for it? I think as we're deceitful, we might be understandable, plus it's my own brother. Yeah, disappointing. I'm disappointed in him, but it's understandable. Ah, oh, my son. Christopher. Tumbleton Byford vassalization. Well, we're allied to both of them, aren't we? So, yeah. But, good to see the Tumbletons getting more powerful. Having really good borders. Well, the Tum the Strickland family have been very good with their borders. I like it. You you have my uh, thanks. Trap. Oh, the Prince Bayfon, the strong, genius, lunatic son of Aegon and Rhaenys. He was able to tame the Lyrian, the Black Dread. Wow. That's impressive. I mean, if there's going to be anyone, the genius, strong son makes it. Look at his stats. Um, he's going to marry Velena, who's a quick, attractive daughter. Yeah, if there's going to be anyone, it was going to be him. But still, that could cause problems for his brother. You know, if that guy gets ambitious, this guy's only got a baby dragon. With Beleriand, he could destroy him. So that could be a problem. Um, Osmond, you'll be the court physician for now. Maester Osmond. And there we go. Should we go to war then? What do you have? No allies. 900 men. Of a vassalization? Nope, it's... Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's take that. That's two places. That'll look really good. We just need then these three. And it'll be done. So that, we're going to need a bit more prestige. We might not be able to get it done before we're dead. But we're going to try as hard as possible. I promise you that. Bring all the men that you can. Rain family. The Bainford family. That probably is just enough. <laughs> You know, we'll bring it all the way up from River Run, just in case they do need extra men. Runestone Iron Oaks vassalization war. So they're now going to attack the the north, the county of Iron Oaks. An eye for an eye. I start to feel that the ton of the other cheek is just stupid. We've lost our patience. Oh dear. Going to get a bit quicker to anger nowadays. They have a thousand men. Yeah, this should be enough. But to take the capital, 400? Okay, that should be quite easy. Yeah, we'll be able to assault it. Done and dusted. Bring them together. You guys actually could probably just be deleted. We don't even need you. Uh, Sir Pyron Mouton has accepted the peace offer. So that means Harren Hall did expand into there. How have they not made a kingdom yet? I want to see the Butterwell Kingdom. I want to see the Kingdom of Butter. That's what I want to see. The Butter Kingdom. Has, oh, he's got the High Lodge with the Bay of Crabs. Oh. We could be seeing a king about to appear. And they defeated the Peak family. She died in suspicious circumstances as well. His mother. Okay. But if he's got two High Lordships, he should be able to create a kingdom definitely now. Go Butterwell. I want to see it. I want to see the kingdom of those butters. Defeat them there. We could probably assault this as well in just eight. Oh, butter. It's okay. The dogs are a bit upset. <laughs> they didn't want us to defeat the Fort family, I guess. There we go. It's done, though. Get rid of that. Okay, so we just need now more. And we can then go for these three here. Once those three are done, we've kind of got the things we were aiming for. So I'll be very happy with that, no matter what happens to us. We obviously could die at any point. We're now quite old. But we're not looking unhealthy. So I have no idea how long he's going to last. I have to just say, guys, we're going to have to end this part here because I feel like this is a good place to end it. I'll see you guys next time where we'll continue the story and, of course, the stories of everyone else. Um, I'm surprised how long we've lasted. It's uh, it's interesting. I'm hoping there'll, still, there'll be lots of things for us to do, though, once we die because there's so many little places and little things going on. It's uh, a very interesting world nowadays. I can't wait to see what the future holds and if we're to fight our own River Run kingdom in the future. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. And by Tully's family, duty, and honor.